Hey everybody! Moonstone Island had another major update and I think that it's something the livestream lovers will really like. So let's go talk about it. Number 1. We can now get married! All you gotta do is complete the four house dates with your chosen NPC and then your mom will send the recipe for the ring. You just need to craft it on your enchanter and then give the item to your chosen NPC. After that, you get to choose the wedding date and you'd get to choose what your character will wear for the date. All attendees will have their unique outfits and dialogue too. You can talk to your spouse to end the celebration and then they'll show up at your house before or after work and on non-working days. Number 2. A stat reset potion is automatically unlocked at our cauldron. We can just craft one and feed it to our chosen spirits to reset their stats. Number 3. We are once again graced with 5 new spirits. These are Toxido from the Poison Biome and Bark Bite. Bread Mouse, Snom, and Kiwi Wat from the Electric Biome. I personally like Toxito and Bark Bite's passive for non combat stuffies because two warps and two mines seems pretty handy. And I think Snom also has combat potential. I can't wait to experiment on it. Number 4. There are three new fishes that you can get on Dark Islands. Don't forget to sell it to Tobin for his trophy case. Number 5. We can now tame spirits at any level too, though you would still need this skill to use them in battle. Number 6. There's also a bunch of new colors on the loom, including transparent ones. Number 7. We have a bunch of new Valentine's themed furniture like this beds, petals, windows and frame, but my personal favorite is this hot tub. These furnitures are free by the way, you can just craft them on your table. Oh, and for some reason, we can also sleep on couches now. Number 8. All chat penalties are lifted. This means that you no longer lose hearts in case you fail to chat, joke, or flirt. So it's much faster to romance and get married. Number 9. When using the flute, we get to choose where to teleport now. It can be by the goddess statue or where we put our warp totem. And that's about it, folks. The others are just a bunch of fixes and bug squashing done by our dear dads. So, which one is your favorite from this new update? Let us know in the comments. Also super thanks to my lovely channel members as always. And to you too for helping me reach 2000 subs today. Thank you once again and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.